Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math, calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example, calculate gallons of alum per day. Today's problem reads, jar testing determined the best liquid alum dose is 6.1 mg slash L. The aluminum sulfate has a specific gravity of 1.26 and the solution has a strength of 52.2%. The wastewater treatment plant operates 24 hours a day with a flow rate of 625 GPM. How many gallons per day a liquid alum will be needed in the waste stream to produce these jar test results? So we have a uh, problem here that requires us to calculate gallons of alum per day. And in order to do this, we need to know how many pounds of alum uh, are required each day. So I'm actually uh, going to show you the, um, the video that I have published previously, which is this bottom formula here. Uh, it's got the URL on the sheet as well. So you can actually go to the uh, video to see the, um, the procedures for solving the problem. Uh, but this is the uh, formula that I used. Now on that video, I showed the result in three des in one decimal. So I'm sorry, I showed the result as a whole number, zero decimals. But I'm going to insert that result uh, into this formula as three decimals, and that's just because Excel retains all the decimals with their answers. So I'm just going to use the three decimal um, answer. Uh, to, to solve, uh, to, to insert in our, our basic problem here. So let's go back up to the first formula and let's look at the, um, the, the basic formula, which is actually going to be a modified version of the percent solution poundage formula. The, the, um, the percent solution poundage formula uses um, uh, concentrations as percentages, we have to insert them into the formula as a decimal equivalent. Um, so we're going to do that. Uh, we also have a standard weight uh, that we use in our conversion factors, which is the weight from gallons to pounds as 8.34. But in this problem, we have a specific gravity. And the specific gravity is the weight of the liquid in relation to the weight of water. So instead of us using the specific gravity, we're going to apply, uh, instead of us using the standard conversion factor, we're going to apply the specific gravity to the conversion factor. So we're going to put all those elements into this one formula, and we're going to actually have gallons of alum per day equals the pounds divided by the decimal equivalent of the strength times the uh, combination of the conversion with the specific gravity applied. So let's just look and see how we put this in an Excel spreadsheet. You can open up a blank spreadsheet. You can go to cell C1. You can type the answer, gallons of alum per day. You can go to a, uh, cell A1. Uh, you can format it as numbers with two decimals. You can go to A1, make it bold and centered. And then you can type in this formula. Uh, equal sign, open parenthesis, 45.787, uh, close parenthesis, division key, three open parentheses, um, 52.2, close parenthesis, division key, um, open parenthesis, 100, two close parentheses, multiplication key, open parenthesis, 8.34, multiplication key, 1.26, and two closed parentheses. Then you can uh, press enter or the return key and you're going to get eight, uh, the answer of 8.35 gallons 
of alum per day required based on the, um, the information uh, that we've described above. So I hope you found this uh, video to be useful and helpful. If, please, if, please, if so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also encourage you to uh, participate and interact by commenting uh, and asking questions. You can do so by going to myenvironmentalacademy.com webpage. You can fill out the email form or you can send me an email to the email address. Uh, I will be publishing videos once weekly, so please come back often, and thanks for listening to this six-minute video.